You need to set your path variable so it includes the two new bin directories. In the previous example, I showed you how to install the J2EE software in a directory named Sun App Server. If you installed it in a different directory, you'll need to use that name instead of this one. The programs installed with it are in the bin subdirectory, so this is the one that you'll need to include in the path. The other directory you need to include in the path is the bin directory holding the Java compiler and such. I install the one that came with J2EE and it installs as a subdirectory here. And it also has a bin directory. If you install the JDK separately, it will almost certainly be in another directory. Now adding both of these bin directory names to the path is all that's necessary to complete the fundamental installation. The rest of this movie is about the mechanics of doing just that. Now I'm going to demonstrate how it's done on an XT system, but the same procedure applies to other versions of Windows as well. You first go to the control panel, however you want to do that, and here you'll find a selection named System. Choosing the Advanced tab shows you the window with the Environment Variables button. Here you select the environment variable that you wish to edit. Then you press the Edit button. You can see that I've already put the two directories in here. I put them first in the list of directories in the path because the path is read from left to right, and getting a wrong program by the right name can be very confusing. The directory names must be complete, including the drive letter, and all the directory names must be separated, one from the other, by a semicolon. And that's it. You save it all and close the windows. and the new path is set.